It's time for Nacho's Revenge. Nacho! It's the morning mess. It's time for your favorite prank calls, Nacho's Revenge. Can we say good morning to Tyler? Morning. What's up, guys? What's up, my guy? So, Tyler, we heard you need some revenge on your wifey or your fiance. My fiance, yeah. I need help because she's become kind of a bridezilla. Like, I'm not sure how much more of her junk I can take because I figured if maybe if I get a good laugh at her, it'll bring her back down to earth and oh, no. find that woman that I well. propose to instead of this person that she's turned into. Atta oh boy, atta boy. Tyler, what do you mean? Has she completely changed well, into being really demanding or? Oh, it's everything. Like, we were supposed to get married in April, and obviously, because of the pandemic, that didn't happen so we rescheduled our ceremony for october and in order to have it we had to downsize everything and make it as i guess pandemic appropriate as possible you'd call it yeah. and so now she is overly obsessed with every single detail like we've redone the invites the colors of the tablecloths have changed her bridesmaids already bought their dresses she wants different colors now oh, she wants oh. Me to, i'm telling you it's ridiculous she wants me to tell my groomsmen to shave their beards and anyone who has a tattoo should cover it. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. Bye, Jack. That's what I'm it's, it's, yeah. I'm like, where's that woman I proposed to? She's just gotten so wrapped up in the details, and, you know, I just, I just wanted to chill a bit. So. Y'all want to cheat on her? I was like, whoa. No, no, no. Nothing no, like no. that. Okay. No, no. no that, Get that's out the way. What I'm but I just thought maybe you could call and pretend to be our wedding DJ and tell her that you've created, like, the perfect mix for our wedding and put, like, ridiculous songs in there, like, didn't Ariana Grande have that song about her exes? Something oh, my Thank God. Thank you, Nick. So, yes. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. And I think it'll make her so mad because oh, gosh. she keeps saying how she wants a really basic, boring playlist. Right. I just think she needs to be shaken up a bit. That's okay. Oh, okay. Oh, and, and she needs to be poor. Call her Jackie and not Jacqueline. She hates that. <laughs> Wow, you're like super mad at your fiance. Yeah, well, you don't I even need us here at this point. Calm down. Okay. Right. Like, right. I want this to be fun still. Okay. okay. So, some songs are already coming to my head that I can oh. really tell that it's going to be played at her wedding. <laughs> okay, so call her Jax. She hates that, or Jackie, yep. and ridiculous songs that are going to be played at the wedding. Okay. Does she know the wedding DJ, or she doesn't really know him personally yet? No, I don't think she would know if you say it's him, she'll buy it completely. It's not like we've had okay. long oh. conversations. Yeah. Let's oh. shake it up. Ladies and gentlemen, on the return of DJ Thumb Drive. Awesome. Oh, oh my God. God. DJ Thumb Drive in the mix. All right. Um, I just need her number, and we're going to prank her and bring her back to reality, okay? Great. All right, Tyler. Ladies and gentlemen, your favorite prank call is Nacho's Revenge. Up next, Morning Mess. Your favorite prank calls. We talked to Tyler. In a nutshell, he just wants to bring his fiance back to earth. She's becoming a bridezilla. Uh, Tyler, you there? I am. So, obviously, with the whole pandemic, you guys were supposed to get married in April. It got extended into, did you say October? Yep, October. And she's becoming a bridezilla. She wants everything changed up. Everything. It's ridiculous. Now, I can't imagine. Just a wedding alone is a lot of money. But at this point, the bridesmaids would have got their dresses, the grooms mm -hmm. would have got the tuxedos, and she wants to change up everything. Everything. New invite, oh, new man. colors, different flowers. You're also saying it seems like you have a whole new person in the relationship. I'm yeah. so sorry. I, it's like, where did she go? I don't know. She's just stressed. Let's find her. She's doing the <laughs> He said, let's find her. <laughs> okay. Well, we got her number. We're going to find her. We're going to prank her, as a matter of fact. You had the idea that I will be calling as your wedding DJ. All right, so it's going to be the return. I think I did a prank call like this before as DJ Thumb Drive. It's been a while. It's been yeah. a while. Yeah. So Nacho Shop is going to be Thumb Drive. And we're just going to give her the most inappropriate lineup of music for the wedding to really, you know, ruin her morning. Perfect. All right. All in favor, say aye. 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 Here we go. Hello? Hello. May I speak to Jackie, please? This is Jacqueline. Hi, Jacqueline. Is Jackie there? Um, it's just Jacqueline, actually. Hey, just Jacqueline. So this is just Nacho <laughs> Chavez, a.k.a. DJ Thumb Drive. Good morning. Um, I'm sorry. I don't think I know who this is. You really. will be knowing me because I'm going to be your MC DJ for your wedding. Oh. Yes. Um, Are you really excited? Oh, I'm very excited. Yes. Yes, I'm very excited, too, about your big day, and I created the perfect mix for your wedding, Jax. So I wanted to go through the lineup of all the musical journey we'll be going in together. Great. Let's do it. Okay. You ready, Jackie? 
Mm-hmm. Oh, it's Jacqueline. Um, Jacqueline. Okay. So, Jax, don't worry. You can trust me. I'm a professional. I've been a wedding DJ for about two months now, so I'm so excited <laughs> for this. I'm sorry. Did you say that you've only been DJing for two weeks now? No, two months. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm a professional. Yelp Fun. reviews are litty in the city. So, are you ready? Um, Let's go through the songs. Okay. Okay, I'm going okay. through my laptop here. So the songs <laughs> I'm suggesting always go over well, especially with an older, more conservative crowd. And I can tell by your voice that's exactly what you have. So. Oh, um, that's really not appropriate, I don't think, to say. What? <laughs> yeah, I didn't really like it. Well, listen, I'm not trying to be rude, but go ahead and talk a paragraph and you'll see. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You see? Um, you see right there? <laughs> I almost what? took a nap right there. <laughs> can you... Okay, can we just tell me what song... Yes. Have? Just let me handle the turn up, okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking, Jacqueline. Uh, you're coming out to the reception. Let's just set the scene here. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Mc... Everybody goes crazy. Ah, bridesmaids are jealous. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And then you come out dancing to Ludacris's fantasy. You familiar? No, 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 no. no. Yes, I'm just not. picture it. Picture all your jealous friends and sister that can't get a man. I want to lick, 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 lick you from your head to your toes. And I want to move from the bed down to dance to the floor. And I want to... Definitely not. Definitely not. Ludacris is not going to be on my playlist for my wedding. No. He's a lyrical genius. Versus? If you think that I'm conservative, then why would you pick Ludacris? What? If you think I'm conservative, then why would you pick Ludacris? That's exactly why. You're too conservative. I don't want to bore people. I want to, like, pick it up. Because if your family's well, like was, you... Hmm? With all due respect, sir, okay. I was kind of hoping for something more classic. Um, classic. You know, like maybe some John Legend, some Tanaka. <laughs> so three years ago, listen, this is the perfect song to visualize your honeymoon. What? Who doesn't like um, licking toes? No. <gasps> I don't want my family visualizing my honeymoon okay. while I'm walking down. <laughs> okay, okay, no, duly noted. No. Okay, what about this? We're trying to mix it up. I was thinking about playing Kanye West Gold Digger for your father-daughter dance. No. What? Are you kidding me right now? Why not? Kanye West is the last person I want on my playlist right now. It's crazy. No. But, but listen to the song Gold Digger, and every time the song says, I ain't saying she's a gold digger, your dad looks at your husband and points at you. <laughs> gold Digger? Yes. Gold yeah, it digger. would be funny. That's the song you want right after I get married to my fiance, you want people to think. Yes, it would be digger. funny. Well, what do you want to play for the father daughter dance? Um, I mean, I hadn't really thought. Okay, well, Gold time. Digger it is. Well, let's move on, all right? No, no. What about no, this I idea? I don't, I've done no, my don't research think through your socials. What? I don't think I've done my street. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, stop talking. I've done my research through your socials and downloaded pictures of your ex-boyfriend. So listen to this, okay? I got an idea. During your speech and toast, I play some Ariana Grande song about her exes. It's called Thank You, Next. Thank you, next. Actually, I have my little sister here. Kariana, come here. What? Can you sing no, the, the, the thank you next song? Right there. Shut no up, Jackie. Check this out. Oh, go ahead, Kariana. Thank you. Next. It's not Jackie. Thank it's you. Jacqueline. Next. I think this is... I, I don't now, know. while the pictures are going up, you shout out your ex-boyfriends as their pictures of you and them appear. And you thank all your exes individually for all the things they taught you in the bedroom that your husband will benefit from. <laughs> Are you f***ing kidding me? Oh, no. This is my wedding. It has to be f***ing perfect. <laughs> Jacqueline. <laughs> what? <laughs> so we have to let you in on something. You're actually live on the radio right now. Are you f***ing kidding me right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're the morning mess. And your fiancé, hopefully still your fiancé, Tyler put us up to it. He's on the line right now. Hey, babe. <laughs> So happy. Look, I love you, baby. You know that, but you've been such a bridezilla. I just needed a laugh here, and for you to laugh and chill. And you think this is gonna make me chill? Why would you do this now? That's what I'm saying. You're too stressed. It's our wedding. It's about us, not about everyone else. Uh, Tyler. Yeah. I think she just said I don't. I'm pretty sure you just lost your fiance. Yeah. Not sure.